a voice keeps on calling me down the road. That's where I'll always be. Every stop I make, I make a new friend. Can't stay for long. Just turn around and I'm gone again. Maybe tomorrow I'll wanna settle down. Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on. So if you wanna join me. Very nice of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I needed this, you know. The wonder is I have to look at this. Accountant, controller, bookkeeper. Ah, oh, it's no use. There's nothing in here for me. Accountant, bookkeeper. I wouldn't last five minutes. It's not that I'm lazy on this thing. It's just, it's just that I. I don't like being around those gloomy faces that you find in factories and offices. You know what I mean? What's this? What can I lose? janitor in a children's hospital. There are worse jobs than that. Wish me luck. The yellow fog that rubs its back upon the window panes. The yellow smoke that rubs its muzzle on the window panes licked its tongue into the corners of the evening, lingered upon the pools that stand in drains, let fall upon its back the soot that falls from chimneys, slipped by the terrace, made a sudden leap, and seeing that it was a soft October night, curled once about the house and fell asleep. And in this will be your ward. I'll expect you to keep it spotless. Yes, Mr. McCourt. McWhorter. Oh, whatever, as you say. Spotless as shall be. It'll be your neck if it isn't. There's a locker through there where you can put your things. Yes, sir. Hey, look, I got the job. You can come in if you like. I'll leave it open. Stay if you like, but keep out of sight. Oh, what can ail thee, knight at arms, alone and palely loitering? The sedge has withered from the lake, and no birds sing. Oh, what can ail thee, knight at arms, so haggard and so woebegone? The squirrel's granary is full, and the harvest's done. I see a lily on thy brow, 
with anguish moist and fever. Hi! Hi, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt your poetry reading. Keats, isn't it? Yeah. May I? Oh, by all means. Oh, an anthology, that's a good anthology. Ah. Jabberwocky. <laughs> Twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. Oh, Mimsy were the borough groves and the moms wrath out gabe. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub -jub bird and shun the frumious bender snatch. He took, he took his vorpal sword in hand. Long time the maximum foe he sought. So rested he by the tum tum tree and stood a while. In thought, and as in oofish thought he stood, the Jabberwock, with eyes aflame, came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled goom, 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 <laughs> as it came. Oh, Dr. McQuart. McQuarter! Uh, yeah, uh, I, well, I was uh, just about to uh, clean the, the floor, and I stopped and had a word with the kids. You're not paid to talk to the children. Get on with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Miss Owens, it's about time the children return to their beds. They are sick, you know. your pardon but let me put it this way tonight when you take your bath you won't have to wash your feet <laughs> oh, no. you are a godsend mr mr mooney dan mooney gracie owens i'm a volunteer here and for the year i've been here you're the best medicine that ever came into this ward oh, thank you kindly miss owens but but i don't think old mcwart mcwarner would agree with you on this him all he ever does is poke his nose in here two or three times a day to remind the children that they're sick. Mm. Speaking of kids, what's with that one over there? That's Teddy. Nobody really knows exactly what's wrong with him. But he's just the saddest young man I've ever met. You know, he, he won't take part in anything. Won't even talk to anybody. Oh. Perhaps this is a job for Dr. Mooney. <laughs> Well, 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 whom have we here? As I live and breathe, is my old friend Teddy Baxter. How are you, Teddy? Hmm. There's one reason why you're not up to snuff. You haven't been taking your medicine. According to this chart, you haven't laughed or even smiled since you were admitted. And even worse, you haven't had a chat, a heart-to-heart -heart chat with anybody. This will never do, Teddy. No fun. No communication. This is serious. Very serious. What can we possibly do? Aha! Uh -huh. Why haven't I thought of this before? This is a case for Dr. Schafferhund. Who is that? I am Dr. Schafferhund, the famous Viennese psychiatrist. Tell me. Which one of you kinder is Teddy Baxter? Ah, so you was a kid who won't laugh or smile or talk or anything. Huh. Tell me, Teddy, what's the matter with you? Are you crazy or something? <laughs> Okay, fellas, knock off the noise. Can't you see I have a serious patient here? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm a comedian. What is, is it my accent? Tell me, what's so funny? Dogs can't talk. What did you say? Dogs can't talk. <laughs> now you tell me, tell me, while the others are making ha-ha, tell me, what is bothering you? Nothing. What? Nothing. You can smile, you can talk, you can laugh. You don't do none of this stuff. 
How come? What is it, a secret? Ah, uh, come on, tell me. If it's a secret, you can whisper it. Come on. It's my parents. Your parents? What's wrong with your parents? They're really neat, and I love them both, but they don't like each other. Hmm. They really don't like each other? Um, I don't know. Maybe they do, but they don't sound like it. You explain. Well, like when they talk. They don't talk, they holler. Oh, hollering. That, that's, that's not good. And that's all they do. They holler and holler, like they're full of hate. And that's what makes me feel so sick. Did you tell them that? No. Why not? I don't want them to hate me, too. I'll tell you what. When your parents come during the visiting hours tomorrow, I will have a talk with them. Will you? I promise. Hey, Dr. Schaefer Hunt, you forgot your voice. <laughs> What's going on in here? Explain yourself, Mooney. Well, uh, uh, the, the thing is, Dr. McWhort. McWhort, are you moron? Yes, sir. And who let that beast in here? Well, uh, actually, I did. You out. Get out and take that animal with you. Yes, now, look, if I could just explain. There's nothing to explain, Miss Owens. Just consider yourself lucky that this time I'm simply going to recommend disciplinary action to the Board of Governors. You. Yes? You are fired. Oh, yes. It's always this way. As soon as I get a job, I mess it up. We made a promise to that kid to talk to his parents. How are we going to deliver now? That's the eighth time. That is the eighth time you've barked at me. And you can bark another eight times, for that matter, another 80 times. That doesn't solve our problem. Sharpen up the pattern. Look for the seam in the zone. OK, so we made a promise to a kid that we can't keep because I got fired. And there's nothing, repeat nothing, that we can do about it. Listen to me, you want us to go and make idiots of ourselves. On your head, be it. So good, Dr. Schaeferhund, just so long as we don't run into Dr. McWhort. I want these floors scrubbed until they're spotless. I want to see all the nurses' station completely reorganized. And put up a sign which tells people that all visiting hours will be reduced by half an hour from here on in. And another thing, I have noticed the psychodrama schedule being displayed on all
on earth are you doing here? Listen, Do you listen, realize listen, that... Listen, listen, I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. Ask him. Listen, if Dr. McQuart ever... McQuart her! Listen. Hey, what did he do? Put me in prison? Mm -hmm. Shoot me? I made a promise to Teddy, remember? Like I would talk to his parents, right? So, what am I going to say to them? Listen, folks. Listen to Dan Mooney, world's famous nobody. You two really are botching up the job of raising your son. <laughs> if I weren't already fired, that certainly would do the trick. Yeah, well, you did promise Teddy that you'd talk to his parents. I shut my mouth off. Really? Dr. Schaefer's mouth. But I've been giving it some more thought. How on earth am I going to put it to them? What's this all about? Sounds like another one of his brilliant ideas. Psychodrama. It is the intention of this hospital to you to... What is psychodrama? Oh, it's a new uh, psychiatric technique. The patients act out their problems and they can see them clearer and understand them better. Ah, an excellent idea, Dr. Schaefer Hunt. That leaves the problem of getting the parents to the right place at the right time. And that means... That's the good doctor's way of saying, leave it to me. And when Herr Doctor says, leave it to me, I always do. He never lets me down. I suppose that was my fault. It had nothing to do with you. No, you were otherwise occupied entertaining that dizzy ingenue with a lampshade in your head and your big feet soaking in the bouillabaisse. Your fault perished the thought. I even think of such a thing. You weren't even there. You were backstage with the boys in the band. I heard the drummer say it was the best five-minute break he ever took. And another thing, when I say it's time to leave a party, we leave. When I go out that door, you go with me. You got that? Barney, it was our party. Where the heck were you going at that time of night? You know, of course, we're late. Of course we're late. Why shouldn't we be late? It took you three and a half hours to put your face on. I can have the car painted in that time. Oh, you and that stupid car. It's got to warm up for six and a half minutes. Not four and a half, not seven, but six and one half stinking minutes. Hi, I'm Barney Baxter. How the heck am I supposed to remember my mother's maiden name? <laughs> I think that's tough. Wait till you get to the next page. You're going to have to figure out who your father was. Oh, that's sweet. That's very funny. I'm warning you, Greta. You're starting to get on my nerves. Mm -hmm. And I suppose you're mm -hmm. such a pleasant personality. Barney Baxter, known far and wide for his wit and charm. I'll give you wit and charm and a kick where it'll do the most good. You do that and you'll never dance again, Buster. Don't threaten me. Nobody threatens me and gets away with it. Oh, stop. You're scaring me to... What is this, another one of your tricks, Greta? What tricks? <laughs> Dogs run in your family, not mine. I'll settle with you later. Now, give me back the wallet, dog. I'm a busy man, and I got no time to play games. Now, stay right where you are. And don't move! I'm warning you, dog, don't start with me! Outsmarted again, eh, super brain? What the heck's going on here? Where is everybody? I don't know. Where's Teddy? Why are we whispering? Good afternoon, ladies and germs. <laughs> Little hospital humors here are moving right along to today's psychodrama. The setting is a lovely Baxter home in the suburbs where we join the Baxters at breakfast. Pass the milk, please. Eat your eggs, Teddy. Why don't you give the kid what he wants? If he wanted to eat eggs, he'd eat eggs. He wants milk. Pour him milk. If I don't tell him, he won't eat. If you learned to cook, you wouldn't have to tell him. Don't you dare knock my cooking. My mother taught me how to cook. Talk about the blind leading the blind. You want to talk about your mother for a while? You know, it was no accident that the city condemned her kitchen. And incidentally, you never take me anywhere. Maybe not. 
but I'm willing to send you any place you want to go. Look, may I be excused? Now, you see what you've done? You have spoiled Teddy's breakfast. I spoiled his breakfast. You spoiled his breakfast and mine, too. Look at that egg. Just look at it. So what's the matter with it? So what's the matter with it? I ought it fried, you give cremated. And you got to ask what's the matter with it? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! name is going on here. Hospitals are for curing, aren't they? Well, yes. Of course they are. Maybe today is one of your better days. the slant, man. Right. The fence should have rotated as soon as you saw them overload the side. Try a war right sideline. It's tricky an hour for lunch, Mooney. That's all that's permitted. Be right back, Dr. McWhorter. Okay. Roll out. Roll out. Cut now. Ah, that's better. Now you're really starting to play football, right? Schaefer Hunt! Send me a card. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again. Maybe tomorrow I'll wanna settle down. Until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on. Until tomorrow, the whole world is my home. 